Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we are making a classic. It is comfort food to the max. It is biscuits and gravy. A while ago we did biscuits and gravy. We did a keto version and it was super easy to make in full flavor. This is fully leaded and it is just going to be the bomb. Alright guys, super simple. We're going to use some of this mix here and it does call for three cups of, of this baking mix. There's one. There's two. And hopefully we'll get three out of this. Three. <laughs> A little extra. It does call for one cup of milk. I happen to have right here. We're going to stir it all up. What I really love about this is, I mean, if you don't get it exactly on the first shot, you can always come back and add an ingredient or remove an, you know, add a little extra here, a little extra there. This is looking pretty good came together quite nicely. Probably should have used a stick for it to do it. But at the end of the day, you get it. So I'm going to take some flour and just put it on the surface here. Because we're going to have to knead this bread a little bit. I'm going to put some flour on my hands too. Actually it's not bread, it's biscuits. We're just going to make basically a drop biscuit. Kind of knead it up there a little bit, just like so. Just like so. That is perfect. So, just going to throw some on here. Now, I do have the pit boss already heat it up to 300 degrees. The recipe does call for four. The pit boss won't really hit that mark. So it is going to take just a wee bit longer. But I think we're ready to go right there. That looks really good. That's time to throw it in. Check them out guys. Perfect. Alright, while that does its thing, I'm going to clean up and then we're going to start on the gravy. Now it's time to make a gravy. Super simple, full of flavor. So I got here some pork sausage, country style. I'm just gonna cut the top of it off, right? Throw it down. Kind of squeeze it out like so. Look how perfect that was. <laughs> Let's just do this, start cutting it up like so. This stuff is going to take a little bit of time to cook. So I'm going to put the cap back on, let it start doing its thing, and then when it's, it's ready for the milk and the flour, we'll be back. Our biscuits have been cooking for 18 minutes, and so far they're looking really good. Look at the bottom of those things, man. Oh my goodness gracious. So what I want to do here so just want to kind of brush the tops of these. Hopefully this will help us get kind of a golden brown to them. So I'm just using some melted butter. I think for the most part though, these things are done. All right, so I'm going to throw them back into the pit boss for just a moment. And it's probably time to check on our pork. But I don't think it's just quite there yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Uncle Steve spicier to this. I think that will really bring out the flavor in this. I do dig the Uncle Steve spicier. This stuff's amazing. Not a paid sponsor, of course, but I do believe in this product. You see me use it almost all the time. Stuff goes good on just about everything. Right. 
The recipe does call for two and a half cups of milk, so that's exactly what we're going to give it. And that's close enough for government work right there. So I'm going to let the milk come up to temperature and then we're going to start adding some flour to give it our thickening agent. And we'll be right back. Zoe, what are you doing? Just kind of hanging out? Yeah? Why don't you roll around for everybody? I love seeing that. Alright guys, there you have it. Your Zoe moment. So the pork and milk have been on here for about three minutes. Pretty close, they're close enough, right? So I have here a half a cup of flour. I'm just gonna add some in here. And the flour is gonna act as our thickening agent in here. And don't expect results immediately from the flour. It does take a few minutes for this stuff to start soaking in. Of course, depending upon how thick you like your gravy, depends on how much flour you put into it. But if you put too much in, you can always add more milk to compensate. So I'm going to give this a few minutes, let it thicken up a little bit, and then if we need to add more flour, we'll go ahead and do it. We're about two minutes into this, and I think we need a little bit more flour for this. So I'm going to just finish it off. Like I said, you can always add more flour if you want it thicker, or you can add more milk if you want it thinner. I just took a, a taste of it. Ooh, baby, it's good. Also want to add that one of the keys, I think, to biscuits and gravy, wooden spoon. This stuff's starting to thicken up, though, and I'm liking that. Let's let it finish doing its work. I think we've got just the perfect combination here. I'm going to turn it down. I think it's just close enough. Heat wise, we just need need a little bit more thickness to it. All right, it's been another minute. Look at that. We got some good looking gravy going on there. It's thickened up. Flavor is amazing. Our biscuits are done. Show you that we're getting a little bit of brownage on there which is perfect look at the bottom of that oh man this is going to be amazing guys it is time to plate this guys seriously we've got perfect consistency on the gravy everything just comes together guys it really does i want to show you this Seriously guys, look at this. This stuff is perfect. The gravy consistency is perfect. The biscuits are perfect. Everything just comes together. I'm so looking forward to eating this. Awesome. Only word to describe this, awesome. Biscuit has just enough crunch to it. The gravy really came through. Uncle Steve's on there, the spice here, just adds just that much extra to it. Ooh. Seriously guys, hard to put down. Alright, on behalf of Steve, the camera guy, and myself, I want to thank everybody. This is the last episode of our first season, because next week we've been doing this one year. It has been an honor and a pleasure to meet you guys, collaborate with you guys, just get to know you guys. Thank you so much for allowing us in to your home and on your phone, at work, everything. I, we are humbled beyond belief. Thank you so much. All right, guys, on behalf of Steve, the camera guy, and I, 
please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, comment, share, you know we dig all that stuff. Remember the do to bites, this time with biscuits and gravy. And by the way, I'm eating all this. Mmm.